Leaders across the country are raising concerns about an uptick in artificial intelligence related scams. And you know what, Ron? Yeah. We both like our AI we chat like it. GPT, but AI can sometimes be tough to beat. It's pretty good. Some police agencies are trying to stay a step ahead. Love and Lies Brittany Klein Peter explains. It's as simple as answering your phone. It sounds like a familiar voice, but is it really someone you know? That's what local law enforcement want the public to start asking. If you find yourself all of a sudden in a situation where the per person on the phone is, is boosting your level of anxiety, that should start to send red flags up. Atlanta area law enforcement agencies tell 11 Alive they're starting to see crimes powered by artificial intelligence. Any technology that comes out usually at some point is going to be exploited by people who have uh, ill will or, or, you know, bad intentions. And that's why agencies like the Cobb County Sheriff's Office are making sure they're ready. We're also partnering with uh, federal agencies, uh, the, the Secret Service, the, the FBI. A team of investigators are working around the clock to learn AI scam techniques. There's over 700,000 law enforcement officers nationwide. And so it's, it's really a collective effort. And they're not alone. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is offering agents training, and the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office is hosting events to educate seniors about these scams. According to a recent global study by computer security company McAfee, one in four people have experienced an AI phone clone or know someone who has. They can make it sound like a... Uh, like it's it's a family member, you know, you're, you're hearing their, their exact voice. We're seeing people of all ages, races, and backgrounds being victims of these scams. They say the best tool against these crimes is education. Have a code word with your family. So if somebody calls and says they're your loved one, they're your grandson, they're your daughter, ask them for that code word. Adding that what you see and hear is not always what you get. Reporting in Cobb County, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.